<laughs> My name is Brownie the Scandinavian Bear. I happen to have a tapeworm, Diphylobothrium latum, living in my small intestine. You can't tell by looking at me. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Woohoo! I'm free! You know what? It's only going to be about 12 days before the free swimming Coracidium will hatch, and then we can swim around in this water. Hey y'all, my name is Coracidium. I'm going to go ahead and swim around these waters and try to trick a copepod into eating me. Then my oncosphere can shed this embryo for. I'm not going to need it anymore. Because then I'm going to bore through the intestine and right to the hemocele. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and develop to a pro -cervoid. I'm growing up. It feels good. Hey, my name is Pro Circoid and I've just developed in the hemocele of this here copepod. Now I'm just going to sit here and wait until some foolish fish comes along and eats this copepod. Then I'm going to go ahead and migrate on out to the musculature of the fish, where I'm going to sit there and wait with some of my brothers and sisters to become a Plerocircoid. That is when I get my Skolex and I'm gonna look just like mom and dad. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. And then I'm gonna sit and wait for my definitive host, the human, to be foolish enough to eat this fish without cooking it first. Heat and desiccation is the only way to get rid of me. Oh, and maybe some, and maybe some of that nasty niclosamide. I don't like that stuff. But I can't wait to get with my human. We're gonna live together happy forever. Oh man, shucks darn. I, my fire went out, it's raining. Oh well, some people eat sushi. What, what, what's the difference? Just take a go. But it kind of almost tastes like there's some plerocircoids in here. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs>